Hello guys, it's Mungai Eve. Welcome to the Mungai Eve show. Of course, it's the biggest online show in Kenya. Ama unakata? <laughs> yeah, and, and, in, and in case maybe you're out there looking for someone to partner with or advertise your work, you are open, you can reach us out. And today I have an amazing, amazing gentleman with me up. Mukimwana Ivy Life me mpiga, me pitia. I can a very touching story and attack a kushiana sisi leo. I'm sure it's going to inspire someone up on Yumbani. Anyway, uko vipi? Nko poor. Eh, to no quita nani. Minute uh dawn. Uh-huh. Ama unezanita angel. Angel. Yeah, from the Angel Empire. Oh. <laughs> it's our family channel. Okay. Yeah, so, uh. but people call me Don, I'm an angel. So, you're uh. a Dana. Hi, Angel. Na Angel normally no longer come on your Kadem. No. Uh. Angel, like, to be a choose your Gina because, like, it's peaceful. Then, Pia, in Antolia memories. So, like, uh. I want to be free like an angel. Okay, which so, memories? Talking of memories. Oh, no. I have a lot of memories, like, mm. Okay, my past life, mm -hmm. so it's somehow it has been traumatizing, mm -hmm. but I've been catching up, mm. struggling with life. Kupambana mm -hmm. to yo badon mefikam. Thanks to God, I'm still alive. Mm. So actually, yeah, it's a long story. Mm. So it started back then when I was young. Kulelewa na na shosh like. Growing like when I'm a mama, I'm a I'm a fariki. Like you grew up without parents. Yeah, without parents. So like my mom passed away. Passed away. In okay, kiwa. okay, okay. I'm a Like, uh huh. You say me like you talk about people, na ko. How old? You say me maybe come on nine years. Or, I don't know. Actually, I don't I know. Actually, I don't know. Maybe come on. Maybe in San Anis six, some as seven years. Maybe. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was so young. No, look, I'm a sibling. So I'm gonna have a look. Yeah, I had a little sister. Uh huh. Okay, I had a young brother too, mm -hmm. the last born, mm. who passed on, but a cure like I think an year. Oh, boy. Yeah, like one year. Yeah. So, I like a chalk to food at Kakufa. So, in short, we're in the first born. We're in the first born. Okay. Uh -huh. So, I have a sister called Anne mm -hmm. and Louisa. So, yeah, I'm the second born. I'm mm -hmm. na kitu three, four years. Mm -hmm. So, now, yeah, it's, yeah. Now that uh, we told me Mama Yako Ali Aga Mukiwa Wachanga Sana. Yeah. Nandi ali kuna take care of the little sister. The little sister was taken care by mm. my aunt, like mm -hmm. mwenye mama angu anafuata. Mm -hmm. Ya alikuwa meoleka mbali. Mm -hmm. Ya alikuwa meoleka mbali side za koru. Mhm. Koru kwa api? Koru kwa side za muhoroni. Okay. Yeah, mm. kwa side za nandi. Mm. So, ya alikuwa meoleka huko so they were working there. Mm. So they took an because mm -hmm. they had two boys mm. so they never had a girl so mm. Ani, Ani was like mm. their last born mm. so yeah it was good for her mm. and advantageous because mm. hakuweza kupitia ya kupitia ile mateso nilipitia okay so it's like you got separated kila mtu alienda yeah we got yake. separated mm -hmm. so it took me long like ata like I haven't seen her for a while, mm -hmm. apart from Juzi Juzi, because mm. yo mdayote, yo period yote ya likuwa michukuliwa. Okay. So I used to go visit once once. Mm. Actually, hata ni buwana yake, mm. nda likuja sasa kunichukua after mm. I was neglected by the mm. relatives who were supposed to take care of me. Okay, so, wacha tuende pole pole, yeah. an alichukuliwa na anti yako mwingine, na we ukainda wapi? Mini libaki huko. Kwa shosho yako? Kwa shosho. Okay. So I was with Shosh. Mm. She wasn't able enough, mm. so yepi alikuwa na tegemea mm. uh, wasichana wake, mm. watoto wake wampatie. Mm. So I had some uncles, they, but they were drunkards, mm. the two of them, mm. walikuwa were drunkards, so mm. they were not of much help to Shosh. Mm. So, like, it was hard. Mm. Then so the aunt, my, like, the elder aunt, mm. sister mama angu mkubwa, mm. so she was the one, like, Babu babu akikufa mm. nila ali yenda lisomeshwa sana so naona okay. kuna zile familia like unapata mm. mmoja wenu maybe kama life haitaenda poa mm. anachukuliwa mm. anasomeshwa so unaambiwaga Mungu akikufanikisha kule mbele mm. chukua na wengine wasaidie mm. but ye yeah, mm. she took that to herself mm. after saa kupata hiyo masomo na everything mm. akamea that pride mm -hmm. so ye yeah, alikuwa anataka watu wa mlambe mm kila mtu ampigie magoti nda saidiane mm -hmm. so aliona like alima ile kiburi yenda amesoma kwa familia mm. so she was the one who was supposed to take care of me okay. so Anne was taken by auntie mm -hmm. yeah my aunt auntie gloria mm. so auntie mkubwa ndo alifaa kunichukua mm. 
Mm. Yeye yeah, kuliko kunichukua nilibaki pale na shosha. Mm. Which wasn't bad. That mm. was my shosha. Mm. I can survive with her. Mm. But things didn't go well. Mm. So ile life ya hapo wakakuja akasema like nichukuliwe niende na niishi na Kisumu because mm. pia alikuwa na kijana wake mkubwa. Huyu anti yako sasa. Yeah. Okay. Mwenye alikuwa ameniacha na like two or three years mm. alikuwa darasa mbili mbele yangu. Mm. So going to Kisumu. Yeah. That's mm. where all the trouble started. Okay, so uliacha shosh ama yeah, niliacha shosh. Ukaenda sasa kuishi na anti. Kisumu ya. Mhm. So niliona ndio it's an opportunity unajua kutolewa ushago, unaenda kusoma kwa urban township. Yeah. Mm. So bado you are uli kwa bado unaendelea na masomo vizuri. Yeah, bado niko naendelea ma, na masomo. Mm. So hiyo ni sha ni nimesoma soma like nilimetoka ushago ni kwa class 5. Mm-hmm. So I was now moving to Kisumu mm. class 6. Mm-hmm. Mark was in class 8 I think so. Mm. So along that Maki period cousin, sasa mwenye yeah. mwenda kuishi na yako aunt yako yeah. okay so from hapo ndo mashida zote zilianza sasa mhm cuz unaona like nikiwa pale na shosh mm. ile rudeness ama cruelness ya my aunt mm. haikukua much mm. visible like huko na iona cuz anakuja once yeah alikuwa anakuja once once maybe mm. a day or two ameenda mm. so haikuwa that easy mm then sasa from hapo ndo mashida zikaanza sasa umekaa na yeye anaona sasa ni shida imekuleta mm. anajiona mzazi anajiwezi rudi kule kwa shosh ju shosh uh, i don't have any siezi hata enda sina fair mm. kisumu to like okay my shags iko mm. siaya mm. so kwenda huko unahitaji pesa so lazima ukae hapo mm. na najua hata ukirudi kwa shosh hauna ile usaidizi poa mm. ya yeah, ile food maybe once once nini mm. so it's what a, it was a struggle kinda mm-hmm. So from hapo ndo mashida zote zikaanza sasa okay. so like Okay what are some of the challenges ulipitia pale kwa aunt yako Okay mm. so imagine like yeye yeah, ndo aunt yangu mm. mwenye anafaa kunisaidia mm. nimeenda pale me i was now like the last born in that family yeah, mtoto wa class 5 Yeah class 5 so nime move in pale nafaa ku join class 6 mm. then from hapo sasa shida zikaanza like unapata like sasa ni kama nili amepata mboch Mhm. Shana mboch wa class 6. I know how it happens. Yeah, so is like is like ni mko at a house boy ni afadhali cuz like mm. wewe cuz ana jume kana shosh you mm. can cook ana jesho sha me yeah sho sha me kufundisha amefanya nini. Mm. So your life yeah it was hectic. Imagine umetoka pale shosh unajua maybe shosh anakoga so kind on people mm. but shosh wangu mm. I used to do things mm. nilijua kazi najua kuleta maji najua kupika ugali nini at that young age mm. I knew how to cook a lot of stuff food mm. so from hapo sasa unaanza kula like kupika mm. anataka upike mm. you prepare things at the same time munaenda shule mm-hmm. shule munaenda like to same place kama toka like umoja mm. hadi down home and it's a walking long at a city is a kilo sija a kilo mitama sijini nipime aje mm. it was long so mnatembea hampe you fair mm. so mnatembea mm. so unapata mm. saa zingine mnatembea unapata mark naye amepewa pocket money oh. Ame, eh, amepewa kijana yake pocket money mm. no food no lunch why ni mbali mm. so inabidi uwezi rudi lunch home mm. na tu kirudi lunch home hakuna hiyo budget hiyo lunch home mtu hazi beba food nayo food hakuna kubeba food ju food yote mnakula usiku inaisha mm so hakuna so unapata ni ule mtu like anachukua bread hmm. kama mchai imepikwa inalala kwa thermos inalala chini ya bed hmm. kanda yake so ah. well, yeah hapo hmm. kanda chini ya kitanda yake ah, the bread so yeah bread iko hapo blue band iko hapo anajua vitu mtahitaji ya breko hmm. enye anajua mkitaka utamuamsha hmm. mkikuja kuchukua ila time unaenda shule so you carry nothing hmm. so unaenda so mako unapata ameji amesortiwa hmm. he has pocket money Unaenda shule unashinda nja. Mm. Ulienda ukitembea, utarudi jioni kwa umetembea. Mm. Unafika home, uniforms mnafua. Mm. Mimi nifulie paka mark uniform zake na ni mkubwa wangu. Mm. From there unapata hata maybe weekends mm. there's no resting. You do your homeworks, mm. you do a lot of stuff. Nguo zake ameongezea hapo. Hey, so is it, hadi uh, yeah, even za za aunt yangu za, za kijana yake. Mm. Unapata like adi nguo zake za ndani mpaka panty na mabrazi kwa hapo unafua so mm. it's hectic so unafua tu na unalia na unafanya nini you have no otherwise mm-hmm. if you don't do that you don't eat okay na mliko una uliko natandikwa ama ilikuwa tu punish ni kutopewa food uliko natandikwa mimi nilikuwa natandikwa na pipe ya maji hey. na ipa ipa green ya maji mm-hmm. uliko natandikwa paku na bleed mm. kesho unaenda shule uko na bruises mm. unaumwa usiku mzima mm. it was kind of hectic mm-hmm. always sitakagi nikimuonaga ni Yani the last time I even saw her nilimwambia mm. mama mweni shetani. 
you are not my relative you used to call her mom yeah mm. when she tani mm. hadi nika nilimwambia ga like like mko ni mama yangu alikukosea mm. because mbona like, umeleta grudge kwangu like she's punishing, gra- yeah, yeah. She's punishing me mm. so kwa ni na tunafanyia like ni nini nimefanya like it was like hectic staka ikumbuka hata hiyo story mm-hmm. so then from there there's a day mm-hmm. nikasema enough is enough i did there were some some of my cousins who were around mm-hmm. wana ni rumia they cannot do anything yeah, because they're we, still young yeah they are still young what are going to shule kuna mwenye alikuwa high school mm-hmm. imagine like you, it's like you're being forced to do it mm-hmm. you're being forced if you don't do it you don't eat or you're beaten or you're beaten mm-hmm. It's not like even discipline mm. na si atisi kwa nafanya yeah cuz unaona like yeah it's like mtu hiyo ni child labor cuz like mtu amekupatia like nguo za nyumba mzima ungangane kufua mimi mwenyewe hiyo time unafaa kufanya homework zako then like the favorite the prodigal son is there mm. the favorite son he isn't doing anything yeah na watch cartoon sasa hizo una umeweka na makazi ma, ma he's actually older than you he's older than huh. me mm. so okay So there's a time like ilifika enough mm, ilifika kachoko. enough kuna day nimetoka shule jioni oh, then that, by then you are in class class 6 oh. mimi sikumaliza time huko mm. class 6 mm. yani i couldn't survive there it is like a prison mm. kama umeenda juvenile prison like mm. na haujakosea mtu mm. na sisi tuko na bad behavior mm. yeah i was a good boy i was doing everything as required mm. so nothing was out of the box for me mm. So I don't know why everything was happening. So uh, mm. there's a day we came back from school mm. then like kuna okay mm. kuna pesa ilikuwa mm. Ntu, tulichukua pesa na mark mm. ile like unaweza chukua 50 bob mtakula lunch mm. and it was max suggestion mm. kijana yake ndali suggest tuchukue hii tutaenda kubai <laughs> yeah siwezi juu ukiguza mm. unaweza kosa hata kukula for three days kwa hiyo nyumba mm. so mark kuchukua mark kukuja baadaye sasa tunaulizwa hiyo pesa ilienda wapi mm maka kasema ati mimi nilichukua mm. sasa so, so, ali, 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 yeah, aliniruka mm. imagine na najua mm. na najua vizuri kitu nitafanyiwa mm. na ni alichukua mm. na hata hakuchukua hiyo pesa hata tukuga alienda kucheza nayo PS mm. video game mm. so mimi like mm. okay singe bear hapo mm. hivyo imagine ujioni is like 7 mm. kwenda 8 unaanza kuchapwa mm-hmm. amekufinyilia kwa mapaja alikuwa huge mm. kwa namuita big mama <laughs> Ah, from huge. <laughs> Guy, yeah. pole aki na cheka ni me, ni me imagine hiyo scenario. Yaani mama mwenye ni ukubwa yeah. alafu anaika so, mtoto. So amekufinyilia. Ni imagine at, by then I was so little. Mm. I was so tiny. Mm. Amekufinya na kupiga na pipe. Na, na yeah. Yaani like stress. Uko so much traumatized ni kazi ni nini unashindwa ulifanya nini? Mm. Uh, Unawish hata ungetoka ushago. Mm. Afadhali ningeteseka pale na shosho wangu. Mm. Yeah, it was a lot. So akaanza kunitandika mm. na bleed mm. na pigandulu no one is helping mm. so unaona majirani wametoka so nikapata nafasi nika escape mm. kwa paja yake mm. nika escape na nikatoka nje sikuwa na nilikuwa na hizo uniform mm. nika escape nikatoka nje bila viatu nikaruka gate mm. ya, 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 ya nyumba nikaenda nikapita mawochi kwa gate ya court mm. nikatembea hivyo mm. nikaenda paka kisumu stage sasa mm. tao sasa kuingia sasa tao mm. nikaenda tao mm. kwa ziku jua mahali pa kuenda mm. nika wish maybe nikiweza ona mtu najua huko hata niingize kwa gari mm. niende ushago sasa hiyo ni late mm. magari sasa hizo hakuna zenye zinaenda home mm. na pia kupata mtu nakujua itakuwa so, ngumu i had to sleep hapo mm. kwa stage mm. kwa bus kwa bus stop mm. chini ya hizo ma, ma viti za ku, za waiting bench mm. i had to sleep there for the night mm. so hapo hivyo imagine street boys wengine wako hapo mm. so they wanakuona we ni mdogo So hiyo siku ya kwanza una kama safi msafi mm. but nile sina viatu sina nini nimetetemeka mm. baridi nimelia usiku mzima mm. I was crying mm. so kutoka hapo mm. kesho yake nikatafuta namna nikatembea tu nikajikuta nimetembea kwenda kule like wanaitaga mm. kule chini mahali watu wanakula gafish mm. kule kwa kwa, kwa rive mm. sasa hapo hapo kwa lecture okay. mahali watu wanakula fish nikaenda huko nikatembea sawa natembea ile uniform nilitoa nilikuwa na tisho ndani ya black mm. nikatoa juu saa watu walikuwa wananishuku wanaangalia nini nini mm. so nikajaribu kutrai kuangalia nini unaogopa pia watu mm. juu saa unajua niko so much traumatized naogopa hata kuambia mtu naona nikiambia mtu atanirudisha pale mm. na kenye nimeona pale sitaki mm. 
So na wish venye naweza kumbia hata mtu anisaidie niende home mshago. Mm-hmm. So ai nilikosa mtu. So venye nilibahatika nikaenda huko chini mm-hmm. nikapotelea huko. Hivyo ndo nikaanza tu nili kesho yake nika nikapata nikaanza kulala kwa mbele ya club. Mm-hmm. Nikapata machokoro wengine wadogo wadogo. So ilibidi ni adapt. Mm-hmm. Nimekosa so kuna jamaa hapo akatupata so hiyo ni like the second day the third day mm. so unapata hakuna malipa kulala mm. ilikuwa like unajiingiza like <sighs> ilikuwa like ilikuwa hectic mm. like unapata unaingia ndani ya gunia mm. jua kukwa na beddings nini na chokora wakubwa wezi lala mali wanalala mm. wanavuta gum wana Mm. like unapata like used to get inside sacks mm. unaingiza unajiingiza ndani ya gunia mm. inafunika mguu ndo umbu zisikuume at least yo baridi sipige hapo mm. hivyo kwa hizo pep mm. yeah so ilikuwa like it was just like mm. oh, well, at least now sasa hauko bado kwa that situation those are some of the challenges ulipata ulipata na nazo pale si ndio challenges ilikuwa mob uh-huh. juu sawa kusurvive kupata food uh-huh. ilikuwa like no masano nilikuwa naenda pale hivyo chini unapata hapo mali watu wanakula fish uh-huh. unapata mtu ameshakula zile zinaenda kumwagwa uh-huh. unaenda pale hivyo unachokora hizo matatu mapipa uh-huh. unachokora na toa zile fish mtu amekula uh-huh. like na hizo gali zimebaki how long did you stay in the street almost uh-huh. almost six months Mm-hmm. So after that what happened yeah. after six months Ilikuwa tricky kuna siku tulikuwa tunalala kwa hizo madrainages mm. hizo hizo drainages zimetengenezwa under mm. Mm. then mvua ikanyesha mm. karibu maji ni sweep mm-hmm. into Lake Victoria mm. so it was just by luck na mimi hata siji ku swim mm. siko najua ku swim mm. so like nika grab tu kachuma mm. nikashikilia mpaka hiyo hiyo flood ikapita mm-hmm. so like ili ni pea stress mm. so ilikuwa ni hustling unapata like unatembea una, wanavuta drugs wanajaribu kuweka hapo ukini, ukijaribu kuleta kichongumu they beat you up mm. so at some point you got into drugs yeah unavuta hizo mm. magam nini mm. then kuna jamaa alikuwa hapo akajaribu kwa mzuri so alikuwa anatupatia mm. bags hizi mm. vibeti za two pots za wanawake mm. so unapata ni umehang hata kama 20 ama 50 za nini una hope Okay. So I was trying like siku anataka kukua in, much into na jaribu kwa ni kwa mzuri mm. siku anataka kukua into ni kwa into drugs gum nini mm. ni kwa so na jaribu na kila saa na jaribu kuangalia kama kuna siku moja nitaye wana tu mtu najua mm. na sasa unajua naogopa sitaki mm. kuona sitaki nirudishwe pale hivyo mm-hmm. so it reach a point ukaona mtu unajua it reached a point kumbe anko yangu alitoka ushago mwingine ama yule 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 mama a ah, ah, sio wewe mama mm. so anko yangu last born kwa nyumba ya mama yetu mm. aka alisikia nimepotea kumbe he has been looking for me all over kisumu mm. alitembea mpaka spot hiyo nilikuwa nayo nilikuwa naiona ikiwa mpya spot hiyo iliisha mm. anazunguka mguu na aunt yangu imagine anamwambia azunguke na hampati food mm. ampati fare Mm. akajiamua kujitafuta mm. so one day kuna hizi mafunction za za chokora mm. wazinaoldiwa the street mm. children yeah, wanapewa yeah. food nini hapo Kisumu sports ground mm. so nikashtuka tu nimemwona mm. after Wain, how long after your six yeah, months yeah alikuwa amekutafuta for how long alinitafuta for like the five months toka ni pote mm. he's been walking all over Kisumu the whole mm. anatoka asubuhi anarudi jioni mm. anatoka asubuhi anarudi jioni mm. so hiyo siku like nimeparara mm like nikamwona nikamkimbilia tu hivi nikamhug mm. tu nilikuwa namjua ile machozi tu ilinitoka nikawa na tu nikamwambia tu nirudishe tu shago mm. yani nirudishe tu home mm-hmm. okay ya yani, nikamwambia tu ni anirudishe home mm. kwa shosh mm. asinirudishe kwa hiyo nyumba okay so from there ukarudi kwa shosho yeah mm. so he took me he took me mm. akanipeleka akaniambia lazima turudi kwa hiyo nyumba niende nichukue manguo mm. kurudi pale hiyo hadi manguo zenye unapata meniona tiho mm. hata ashtuki mm. hata nini mm. so like 
nikaenda tu nikachukua nguo zangu mm-hmm. akaninyang'anya mpaka kila kitu alininunulia mm-hmm. alininyang'anya nikarudi na nguo zangu zenitoka nazo shago mm-hmm. so from there nikatoka nikarudi shags akanitusi matusi zote sita mm-hmm. make it in life mm-hmm. sita kuwa successful in life mm-hmm. nini okay when you rudi shago sasa growing up yako uli grow up ulipata relative wengine akakuchukua niliendelea tu na shule mm-hmm. Ikakuwa kwa shosho. Ikakuwa kwa shosho. Nikafanya mm. class eight hapo Shago, mm. nikaperform, nikakuwa mjukumu mwenye aliperform highest kwa hiyo boma, mm. hata kushinda ule mako wake, mm. akakimia. Mm. Ikifika saa ni time nafaka kwenda high school akakataa. Mm. Hakuangalia. Sasa mm. the husband to Aunt Gloria mwenye alichukua dadangu mdogo. Mm. The husband. Mm ndali nichukua cause mm. i performed mm. na nilikuwa nimeitoa shule kubwa St Mary's Yala mm. ndaka nichukua ndaka nitoa hapo hivyo mm. akanilipia fee so mm. i used to like naenda kuchukua gafi mm. check na naandika check ya kampuni mm. napeleka shule mm. nikamaliza shule form 4 mm. nika perform nikatoka so nikakuja sana Nairobi okay, wow. so Nairobi nikaingia nikaanza nika kuishi Kibra mm kwa relative alikuwa ndugu ya babu mm. hiyo unajua tu hiyo clan venye huko aga mm. nikaenda ku crash in huko mm-hmm. so nika crash in huko so mm. ile tu like najaribu ku ku make ends meet mm. sasa hiyo unajua ile shosho mwenye alikuwa anajua pia alikuwa amepass mm. i have no one left mm. na hao wenye amebaki mm. na sitaki kusumbua huyu aunt yangu mwingine juu mm. anasaidia dada yangu mm. i wanted her to get the, the help cuz yeye ni mtoto msichana mm. mimi ni mtoto kijana na nimeshapitia i know what life is out here mm-hmm. Okay, ukiwa huko Nairobi sasa at what point ulipata na mrembo? Naona umekuja na mrembo. Si anaogopa kama kamera sana, siji shida ni gani? Okay, so yeah. come, come babe. Yeah. Acha uoga. Just a minute. Uh-huh. So hey, hi, poa sana. You good? good. Tunakuita nani? Naitwa Rose. Rose, yeah. Uh-huh. So, okay. Imekuwa challenging. Mm. So life ilikuwa like hustling, mm. kutafuta Mm. like it was a very big struggle mm-hmm. but so nikatoka Kibra mm. nikapata job nyingine side za Island side za Saika mm. so when nilipata hiyo job mm. huyu baada alikuwa shule mm-hmm. alikuwa form 4 mm. na alikuwa anaenda shule so ile kutoka job mm. ile design unatembea hivi kwa streets unarudi mm. home mm. nikamuona mm. so it was on the streets of Komarok mm. Then I crossed the road the other side when I mm. Nikaenda kumo approach. Mm. Niko na bag yangu na uh, tools. Mm. Niko nafanya kazi ya stima. Mm. So nikamo approach, nika mm. say hi. Mm. So like hapo ndo ilianza sasa. Hapo ndo ilianza. And at what point mlianza YouTube channel? But they have a couple YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So Okay YouTube channel. Uh-huh. It's a car sana. So I think it's gonna three months. Mm-hmm. But we just decided cuz tulikuwa tunakaa and also me pia naenda job at the same time bado mimi nasoma. Mm. So ndio niko second year. Mm. <laughs> eh so tukaamua to like tusike tunaboeka kama tuko home nini nini. Mm. We can start something yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you tukaka come up na the Angel Empire. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. So mm pokenda pale youtube so we started making videos mm. couple it's a couple channel so like mm. yeah we started making some pranks mm. about ourselves our life is going on mm. so but we are still hustling cuz like yeah but like we are trying out if ike mali nafa so we wanted something at least mm. iko in a run mm kama hata tunaendelea na hustle zetu but something is running somewhere okay mmesema channel inaitwa the angels empire okay yeah, the angels empire the angels empire yeah. nitawekea link hapa yeah. they subscribe so that they can get their story actually i think unafaa wanarity the full story juna jo ujaguza yote ikuwe kwa hiyo channel so that they get it ndio kwako kwanza i guess that they'll be asking but okay nitaelezea na huko pia okay sawa sawa So guys tumekuwa na the angels family ama mkona something else you would love to add Yeah we just maybe appreciate everyone the fans wa, wa, wa Eve mm. Eve Mungai show yako we love it Thank so you. we want to tell people like why endelea ku subscribe channel yako pia uh, you are doing a great Na job to promote CC the upcoming artists in the industry yeah. then like na CC the angels empire we're just asking you guys out there please subscribe to our channel and continue watching our videos we really appreciate your help and your support being with us mm. we are a family together okay. yeah na tumeshukuru sana ibu mungai by the way she's doing amazing job thank you na me to support by the way since to enter channel do uh, at jay meet in person but yeah, it's it's our first day. Day. so we really appreciate you. thank you so much timungai if kindly hit this yani 
click in it. You can click the the link below. The link below. Yeah, I'm thinking about the Angels Empire family. In it was the Angels Empire. Empire. Akuna family. Ah, wow! I love the uniqueness. The Angels Empire. It was a link hapa. You subscribe. You subscribe to Munga Eve. We send many more to Mapale. Show some love. We must give you a very touching story. Mki mkifika pale I'm sure ata consider kuwaekea the full story yeye akiwa akiwapigia sasa we meet next time naona giza imekuwa mingi sana so guys we've been with the angels empire as you've heard wako na very touching story just consider going to their channel you subscribe na pia you continue subscribing to my channel it's been so amazing as we all know it's the mungai if show the biggest the biggest show and in case you're out there i would love to place your advertisements with us we are open you can get us on instagram at mungai underscore eve you reach me out to pigebiashara we meet next time